And the thing to also remember is that these three survival pathways that we've talked about, um, and we, in episode one, we talked a lot about, are responding to our environment. Whether you're exercising or fasting, they'll, they'll turn on, but also appreciate that they talk to each other. And some drugs or supplements will activate one of these and talk to the other two. So it's, an, it's a network. And we're still trying to figure out exactly what the optimal combination for each individual might be, whether to tweak it with this molecule and then exercise here and then fast that day. We don't know all the answers, but we are going to present the cutting edge science here today. Well, and I, I think it's been really interesting. I've been working with you for what, like about four years now. And in that time, a lot of the uh, molecules that we knew to be working on one of these pathways, there's been further research that have said, oh, that's not just an AMPK effect. There's also an mTOR connection there. Well, they definitely talk to each other. And because if you're low on amino acids and it'll turn on the mTOR protection pathway, that will then tell the other survival pathways to do their thing too. It's like the Pentagon, uh, where there's centrally coordinated defenses. 